Good day. I am Captain Nurul Rahman, an international maritime consultant and a member of the Worldwide Ferry Safety Association's Board of Directors. Dear viewers, research on domestic ferry casualties have found that poor vessel quality, substandard design and construction are significant causal factors for accidents, especially in developing countries where resources are lim often limited. The IMO organized ferry safety information sharing forums in Southeast Asia, the Philippines, China, and the Pacific Island nations all indicated that one of the most difficult causes of ferry fatalities to address was the lack of safe affordable ferries. In response to the tragic record of ferry fatalities in parts of the developing world, the Worldwide Ferry Safety Association has sponsored and initiated a competition inviting students from relevant universities across the globe to take part in a design competition. Bangladesh was a pilot project in 2012 and since then, every year, a different region of the world was chosen for student designers to submit responsive and innovative concepts for safe, affordable ferries, prepared to basic design details. An impressive roster of internationally recognized maritime professionals serve as judges. Today, we are observing the award ceremony of the seventh annual international design competition for safe, affordable ferries for the developing nations. In each of the six preceding competitions, the Worldwide Ferry Safety Association has made awards to student teams, which were adjust first, second, and third. In 2019-2020, the competition was for the first time focused on the African continent. The objective this year was to build a new fleet of safe, affordable speed, afford appropriate speed passenger vessels to operate in Lake Victoria. The vessels must be affordable to construct, operate, maintain, and repair by local teams in or near the Lake Victoria. There were a few challenges for designers. In addition to designing a safe and affordable ferry for the route that will serve three nations, Kenya, Uganda, and Tanzania within Lake Victoria, the ferry would require to accommodate 200 passengers and at least 30 saloon cars in addition to motorbikes, agricultural produce, etc., There was a draft limitation at ferry terminals, as well as air draft restrictions for the ferry to pass under the Rusinja Bridge. And like all of the previous competitions, the ferry was required to be safe to operate in the conditions of the waterway, the weather experience during all times of the year, the required passenger capacity, passengers' bikes and strollers, luggage, and cargo. The ferry must be affordable to construct, acquire, operate, maintain, and repair. In total, 18 teams from Naval Architecture and Engineering Faculties of internationally reputed universities around the globe participated. The first prize winner was a team from the Hochschule uh, Bremen City University of Applied Sciences, which designed a very sleek looking double hulled vessel called the Usalama, which in Swahili means safety. The judges appreciated that the safety features, including fire and life saving designs, were made in compliance with relevant regulations. There were innovative features like the raising and lowering of the wheelhouse in order to pass under the Mibita Rosinja Bridge. 
this redundant azimuth driven vessel is designed with its environmental impact in mind. The second prize winner was the team from Univers Universität Rostock in Germany. The team named the vessel Lukwata, uh, representing a mythical, mythological sea serpent in Lake Victoria. After comprehensive safety features, this, this team focused heavily on affordability with a very simple steel monohull design driven by two propellers. The team also focused on passenger enjoyment. Buffet dining, bar, sitting near windows, and a duty-free shop. An interesting innovation is an hoistable extra deck, which, if needed, for cars and small vehicles to be loaded. There were three third prize winners, one from the University of Rostock master's program and two teams from Singapore Institute of Technology and Newcastle University. The University of Singapore Institute of Technology and Newcastle University team designed the vessel Haraka, which in Swahili means fast. It is a steel catamaran with a strong bilge for low weight and stability. The vessel has water jet propulsion. Flexible solar panels provide a source of power during birthing and during non-operational hours. There is a water hyacinth catching device for the structure of the water jets not to be impacted by the presence of vegetation. Passenger comfort features are the television, food kiosk, cushioned sitting, and tinted glass windows, which filter out the UV rays. There's also air conditioning and Wi-Fi, as well as handicapped access. The team from MSHIP's master's program from the University of Rostock in Germany designed the vessel and named it the Giraffe. The ferry features good safety and affordability functions. The vessel is a catamaran which uses diesel fuel. Some of the team's attention to detail was about how the livestock would be loaded on the vessel. And we know that Kenya is very strong in agribusiness. Agri business. They also paid attention to sea keeping, passenger comfort in, term, in terms of respecting such factors as motion sickness incidence and response amplitude operator. The second team from the university is from the Singapore Institute of Technology and Newcastle University was also awarded the third prize. The ferry named Kisasa, which in Swahili means future, is a steel catamaran with twin water jets. Diesel fuel and electric power also generated with solar panels was used. It, is, it has a bow entry designed to prevent overcrowding. There are evacuation slides which require fewer staff to administer. The vessel has windows that opens but still provide protection from rain. Open deck spaces for passengers to walk around. It uses hybrid propulsion, but with space holders for future changes in fuel source, whether it be it LNG or any other source. So viewers, in this panel, we are going to watch some of the presentations made by the winning teams, as well as from Mr. Malcolm or Mr who is the CEO of Waterbus Lines operating in Lake Victoria. Finally, after reviewing the presentations, please send your queries to both Dr. Roberta Weisberg and to me on the email ferry safety, one word, ferry safety at gmail.com and we will forward your questions to relevant persons for answers. 
I hope that you will enjoy the panel's presentations. Thank you for your listening. Thank you.